What was one of the craziest foods you ate in Colorado? The sad thing about serving stateside is you don't get too many crazy foods. <laughs> Although there's uh, one food called Rocky Mountain Oysters. We won't get into that. Um, a f crazy food that, a f I guess not crazy food. You meet a lot of weird people on your mission, so you get a lot of weird food, a lot of different people serving different things. Um, a companion of mine once got served, um, it was two day old Subway sandwiches that they'd bought, and that was kind of interesting that they would do that. I didn't really have anything crazy though. All my dinners were amazing. Awesome. Uh, what was one of the most crazy or dangerous experiences you had? Crazy or dangerous experiences? I don't think I had any dangerous experiences that didn't relate to me falling off my bike, actually. Um, there was one time my my brakes were out on my bike, so I didn't have any brakes. So what I would do is I'd, I'd shove my, it's called a Brazilian brake, it's apparently does in Brazil. You shove your foot in the front wheel, so it just grinds against the wheel and slows you down. Um, so I was on the phone, and I also needed to stop, so I shoved my foot in there a little too hard, and I my bike endos, and it was actually really cool because I totally just walked off the bike, uh, how it ended up. But my bike does a flip and I just walk off on the side and finish the conversation on the phone. They couldn't even tell. So that was probably my proudest moments on my mission. What was a spiritual experience you had? There was a family that had recently lost a niece and they were really distraught. And this is one of the, and they were totally active. We were just over there to help them out anywhere we can. But it's one of the experiences where the Lord really will help you out. Um, because I didn't know what to say to them. I didn't know how to, how to comfort them. Um, but a, a scripture came to my mind, and I was able to share with them just about how the Lord comforts us in our times of trial. The um, Lord is always with us. And the spirit that entered the room was amazing. And I think that's probably the moment I'd choose that would um, epitomize my mission um, and feeling the spirit is just as we all came together with our testimonies of how the Lord is always with us. That was incredible. Um, what's a new skill or ability you gained as a missionary? I'd say I learned a lot of bike tricks. I really loved how to work on a bike. Also how to cook little different things. Um, and I learned how to crochet. Um, what's the most extreme weather you experienced? Um, there was a day when negative four was the high. Um, and I, all I had was my jacket. I didn't, I, I'd always thought scarves were girly, so I didn't have a scarf. And I really wanted a scarf so badly. Oh, we were out walking because you can't, we both got, or my companion got really bad wind chat that day, but it was a fun experience. What was one of the hardest things you experienced on your mission? Having a companion 24-7. Um, you're, you're assigned a best friend. Sometimes your best friend isn't the one you wanted. Um, so a lot, having missionaries who struggled um, that didn't really want to be out on their mission, that didn't really know if they even knew the church was true yet, um, that was hard for me because of the things that they wanted to do that I didn't want to do either on the interest of being obedient. That was the hardest. What's the best advice you could give to a pre-missionary getting ready? The best advice and the best way to prepare for a mission is um, first and foremost, your own testimony, personal um, scripture study, personal prayer, most important things, but very close third is sharing the gospel. Now there's no point in waiting. Share the gospel with your friends now. What's the best advice you could give to a return missionary who just got home yourself six weeks ago? Yeah. The best advice is don't let it be a dream. You get home and you get back into the daily grind uh, that you had two years ago or 18 months ago. And it starts to feel like your entire mission never really happened. And that's the saddest thing. The way you overcome that is through going out with missionaries, is by um, keeping in touch with mission friends, with people you taught. You have Facebook now. You can go back through all the areas you served in. Um, the more important thing is to stay busy doing good things and keeping in contact with those you taught and served with.